Good morning, everyone. Here are the St. Anne Island and Southwest Florida update as of December 3rd, 2022. The St. Anne Police and Fire Departments responded to a fire in the debris pile on Island Inn Road Friday morning at 6 a.m. St. Anne Bell Fire Captain said the fire was likely smoldering for hours before the flames surfaced. The fire was extinguished without any issues. Update on FEMA trailers. It has been around 35 days since FEMA officially said they would provide trailers to Floridians in need. So far, 13 families have been housed. FEMA says 84 more families will be housed in the coming weeks. To date, FEMA has received 2,400 trailer requests in Lee County, 500 trailer requests in Charlotte County, and 200 trailer request in Sarasota County. FEMA says they have plenty of trailers for everyone, but it is a lengthy process. I'm trying to remain neutral on this issue, but there are just way too many people sleeping in tents and cars when there is a lot in Florida full of brand new looking trailers. Dolphins Resort Update. This is the trailer park community that I have talked about before where the owner is walking away from the loan and leaving the residents homeless. It turns out he owns three other trailer park communities in Florida, Buccaneer Island on Pine Island, Fantasy Island in St. James City, and Tropical Waters on, Bo on Boquilia. Buccaneer Island and Fantasy Island have had no cleanup work whatsoever done by the owner, but Tropical Waters has been cleaned up, the electric is restored, and the internet is working. I am assuming maybe he has a home in tropical waters and that's why it got priority. Maybe it just didn't have as much damage. Either way, all three communities are essentially in limbo waiting for any communication from the owner who can now be considered one of the worst landlords in the area. Thanks for listening.